Letters, 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 letters <clears throat> for the 15th of February, 2021. Uh, Terry B says, less junk, more journey. Uh, Nate and Marissa, uh, their latest video was just excellent. I just watched it. Uh, thanks for mentioning it earlier. Have always enjoyed their channel and was a subscriber, but wasn't seeing it as often as before. They always do a professional, well done video and the insights into COVID and how they deal with it while traveling in an RV uh, with a family is especially interesting. I know. Jen D says, snow and ice in North America in mid-February? Who would have thought? <laughs> well, it is a little weird getting snow and ice in, say, Houston and Austin and stuff like that. But, yeah, for the Midwest, for Canada, it's snowing. <laughs> van City Van Life, it's snowing in Canada. Ugh. Yeah, we were uh, trying to deal with the rumor of leaving hand sanitizer in your car. Will it catch on fire? It does have some alcohol content. But, you know, it, unless it has a combustant, a combustant, I don't see how it would do that. Uh, Lori from Arizona says, leaving hand sanitizer in your car will not catch on fire. I live in Phoenix. It gets about 170 degrees in our cars easy. But if you leave it in the sun with a bottle of water, it becomes a magnifying glass and cars can start a fire in your car. But hand sanitizer does not explode due to the alcohol content. I have had several bottles in my big truck for years. However, I do take out the one, uh, put the one on the dash one. Do I do take the one out of the dash when I get home? You know, yeah, I always wondered that. You have water, you have like a container of water, and it's sitting like on a cloth uh, seat, and the sun comes in, and it can kind of act as a magnifying glass. I think that's more to worry about, I would think. You know, I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of that. Uh, Michael Peterson says, Dave, uh, got nothing but love for you. Aw. Oh. Keep up the video content. Maybe the nomads will move to the West Coast somewhere warm if they can, can't deal with winter. I mean, living in the Northeast, and I, I mean, I live in the Northeast and have to deal, deal with winter, but I'm not complaining about it. That's right. You know, I, I, you got to hand it to people like Morgan, Unstoppable Morgan, who is now down in Florida in her yellow bikini, running around, doing a live stream on a Monday afternoon, trying to, you know, raise a little cash so, so she can send some some nice uh, super chats to Dave2D when he does his next painting video. But anyway, you know, she's been all over the country, and uh, that's what I kind of liked about her channel. When she was up in Maine and Minnesota and Michigan and stuff like that in New York in the cold weather, but now she has finally given in and is headed south. HK's Outdoor Adventures, I have come to the point that if I see the name Quartzite or the thumbnail of Dirt and Rocks, I just don't watch the video. Uh, anyone, everyone showing the exact same video of their meager, resistance, meager existence in some pile of dirt and rocks, I don't know, man. Chrome and his hideous dog, it's not a hideous dog, uh, the <laughs> Cruise. But anyway, Chrome and his dog make for some refreshing changes. Uh, P.S. You have something on your chin. I've been messing around with the beard lately. Yeah, I don't know. It's thinning out down here. I don't know. It's got thin. It's thinning out down here, and then I've been futzing with it. I don't know. It's just. It's getting weird. I don't know. Is that? Is that a? <laughs> I don't know. It's just been weird. My my beard is just getting weirder as I get older. Uh, Grandmaster Turtle says Camper Kenny and Camper Keto. Who could that be? I don't know. Talk about a Boyt Power couple. <laughs> uh, Carol Hall wants to know if any of these nomads have hobbies. Huh. Yeah, you know, we don't really see much. I mean, other than collecting Mickey dolls. <laughs> I don't know. Does, uh, does Mikey have a hobby? Uh, what does he do? You know, I don't know. You know, um, crossword puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, uh, crochet, um, you know, collecting coins or stamps. I, I don't know, man. It'd be interesting to know. Jamrock Girl says nomads are running out of content. How about they visit a new country? I've always said I'd love to see Van City Van Life or... Uh, yeah, or, or, um, or uh, what's his name, Forresty Forest, come down to the United States. Now, I realize the border is closed for tourists, but that would be nice. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I would love to see some of these nomads go down into Mexico, because that sounds like a crazy, kooky place for nomads to be right now. I don't know. They're right there. Quartzite's only a few miles from Mexico. How about it? Uh, Kathy Nightingale says, did you see Brad Kozlowski's, I think that's his name, Wreck? At NASCAR yesterday, he was number two. 
Is that our buddy Brad? Uh, yeah, we have a guy with that name on my chat almost every Saturday. I think that's an imposter, but we'll ask him. And this Saturday when we do our live stream, on my next live stream, what date is that? The uh, 20th, we will see how Brad is doing. M Trade says it's too bad that it's not raining in Arizona like it is in North Carolina, especially around the LTVA where all the lounge chair lizards and gloppy food eaters are residing. To see their cars and trucks and RVs slowly sinking into the desert, now that would be content. That's mean. Uh, Danny Lee Ingram says, uh, thanks for shouting out my faded headlights business. I had vehicles waiting in line for a while yesterday, and the drivers all said they'll be back with their other vehicles and friends with their own vehicles and, fr and with their own ve and fr and with friends and their own vehicles. I have health issues, but I was raised on work ethics. Holy cow. All right, check out Danny Lee Ingram. This is his channel here. He's in North Georgia. Uh, a, a little town, I forget the name of it, It's uh, but it's near Rome, Georgia, up in the northwest side of the state there, where they got that, uh, that QAnon Congress lady. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, check out his channel. And, uh, and, and, if you, and get in touch with him. I'm sure he's got a way to get in touch with him. Or he's always on my chats on Saturdays. But if you need some headlight uh, clear, you know, all those, the foggy headlights on all those cars with plastic headlight covers. He'll fix it for you. Danny Lee Ingram, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. If he wants, I'll give his phone number out, but I got to get his permission first. I'm trying to pronounce O A X A C A, Oaxaca, Oaxaca, M J C 427. That's a state of Mexico, right? It's pronounced Oaxaca, Oaxaca. <clears throat> right, it's a state in southern Mexico on the west coast side. There is an older couple that have a channel called Retire in Mexico. They live in a town called, La, okay, now I can't pronounce this one, La Crucesita, next to the ocean, which is in the state of Oaxaca. Their channel is very informative for people interested in moving there. My husband and I are thinking of moving to Mazatlan on the west coast across from Cabo San Lucas. Now, you hear those names if you watch all those Love Boat reruns, right? We're going to Mazatlan and Cabo San Lucas. Yes, I've been learning some Spanish, but it's not too hard once you get into it. From Snow are saying eh, their wonderful channel while they're in Guatemala. They say Mexico. You can probably, most of the touristy towns, you can get by without much Spanish. But when you get into Gua when you get into uh, guacamole, I mean um, Guatemala, when you get into Guatemala, you're gonna need to know some Spanish because a lot of those little towns nobody speaks English, you know. But you know the big cities, I you know the big cities are probably okay. Uh, Twisted Nut says, "What's the deal with people posting videos from months ago? One video came out that she's traveling through the Beartooth Pass." In Montana, that's been closed for winter for weeks now. The video wasn't even as current as the Nomad You Don't Talk About that has been posting from Daytona. <clears throat> oh, you mean Carolyn's RV Life. Yeah, I don't know. Go, go figure. She's She posts videos from, like, last fall and summer, you know. But that's that's her style, you know. I don't know, man. Bobby Brooks says, uh, Dave, you... you not only do you look like a grizzled old man, you look like two grizzled old men and a grizzled old woman all smashed together. You couldn't look more grizzled or more old. Dude, look at your puppet. You designed yourself a grizzled old puppet. Uh, I didn't design this puppet. Uh, Mr. Brunger designed this puppet, but what do you say about that? I was designed in Dave Vimmons to be grizzled and old. <laughs> Camo Bear, Froggy, uh, we got Cringy. Say hi to say, say hi to Mommy Kathy. Hi Kathy, hi totally Kathy. And of course the adorable Crotchy. Crotchy and friends, every afternoon right here on the Camo Dave channel. Come over. Yeah. <laughs> Jan's road trippin. Jan's road trippin says just watch us. We are getting married in Quartzsite January 29th. Yes, it is true. It will explode in the sun. January 29th? I mean, what do you mean, next year? Because it's already uh, February. You know, I, I don't know. Look at them. There they are. <laughs> Jance Road tripping. All right. Oh, well, oh, well, we'll put that on our calendar. January 29th, 2022. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. 
Well, anyway, congratulations. They're engaged, right? Is that what you call engaged? <laughs> And finally, Ricky in Arizona says, if you travel with a pet, use a nationwide vet like VCA or Banfield. The records are computerized and it makes life easier. Good point. We, I guess there are vets that are like national chains. They're connected. I didn't know that, but that's a good idea. If you're a, if you're a, a nomad and you have a pet, get an account with, uh, what is it, VCA or Banfield. Good idea. All right, everybody. That ought to do letters, letters, letters for the uh, 15th. Uh, February 2021. Happy President's Day. Vlog Who's your favorite president? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Vlog under.